morning. Come on. Hallelujah, living hope. Awesome, awesome. Thank you, Lord. You know, let me just say a few words this morning. Uh, so they were honoring each one, you know. So um, I was thinking, why would, why would we even do this as a church? Sometimes when you're in the leadership, it's easy for us to honor the leadership. It, that's natural. We always tend to honor our leaders. But if you look in the Bible, there's a verse, Romans 12, 10 says, Love each other like brothers and sisters. Give your brothers and sisters more honor than you want yourself. You know, so not just honoring your leaders. Sometimes as a church, we need to honor each other. Right? But on the other hand, I want to thank the leadership of Living Hope for honoring everyone else. Because the thing is, Bible also says in Matthew 26, whosoever wants to be the leader, let them be the servants. So I thank God for the great leadership at Living Hope and for their servanthood. Let me read a scripture really quick. Can we read Psalms 95 this morning? It says, O come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and make a joyful noise unto him with psalms. Verse 3. For the Lord is a great God, that's your God, and a great king above all gods. In his hand are the deep places of the earth. The strength of the hills is also. Verse 5. The sea is his, and he made it, and his hands formed the dry land. O come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord our maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture. And the sheep of his hand today, if he will hear his voice. We come before him to worship the God. You know, sometimes we think we... God owes us. It's no, no, you are wrong. We owe all to him. Worshipping, worshipping is a privilege we get. We get to worship him. We, we don't have to, but we get to worship him. Because we will get more when we worship him. You were and I were created to worship him. So it's our responsibility to worship him. So let's worship the Lord this morning. Lord, I lift your name on I'm so glad. Yeah. 
the Lord Living Hope DC and good morning Living Hope DC. Oh it's such a wonderful time to be in the house of the Lord among the people of God. Thank you so much for being here today to all of our visitors. Thank you for being here this morning with us to worship with us, to pray with us, to sing with us. We just want to say thank you and to our live stream viewers thank you for uh tuning in to us today. We want to say thank you for worshiping with us where you are. Um, just a few announcements before I begin. Our first announcement is just simply, it is good to be in the house of the Lord. And I love my church today. Don't you love your church today? Amen. So um, today is I love my church Sunday. Uh, la apreciación de la iglesia. And we just want to say thank you. And we only have one major announcement. Queremos apreciar y solo tengo un anuncio particular. We have Brother Hudson, uh, is a minister, visiting minister. He's going to be with us. He's going to be with Living Hope this week. Tenemos un ministro uh, llamado Hermano Hudson y estará con uh, Living Hope esta semana he ministrando. Is, he is going to be at various home groups throughout the week. Estará visitando los uh, estudios de hogar durante la semana. He's going to be praying with people. Estará orando con las personas. And so you do not want to miss home group this week. Y no quiere perderse usted los grupos de hogar, los estudios esta semana. On June 11th. El 11 de junio. Next Saturday. El próximo sábado. June 11th. Junio 11. At the church office. En la oficina de la iglesia. There are going to be two sessions that are going to be offered. Habrán dos sesiones ofrecidas. The first session. La primera sesión. Brother Hudson is going to be teaching. El hermano Hudson enseñará. Praying with people to receive. Orando por personas para recibir. And the second session. Y la segunda sesión. Is going to be the same. Praying será, with people to receive. Y la segunda será la igual. Orando con las personas para recibir. So if you are a married couple today. Si usted es una pareja casada. Husband can attend first session. Esposo puede atender la primera sesión. And wife can attend second session. Y la esposa la segunda sesión. 
because it's important for us as leaders es importante que como líderes to pray with people to receive oremos para que la gente sepa recibir del señor i want to receive yo quiero recibir and brother hudson is going to be there y el hermano hudson estará allí teaching these two sessions enseñando estas dos sesiones so it's important es importante for if you want to attend one of those sessions, si quiere atender usted una de esas sesiones, to sign up on the Church Center app, de que se eh, inscriba allí en la aplicación de la iglesia, to reserve your spot, para reservar su espacio. These are in person. Esos serán persona, and will be in person. Y, y serán persona. So please sign up. Eh, por favor, uh, firmese allí. So we can all learn to receive. Suscríbase para que pueda usted aprender a recibir. All right, the Lord bless you. El Señor le bendiga. We are going to transition back to our worship service. Vamos a transicionar de nuevo a la alabanza. But at this moment we're going to offer um, offering time. Al momento vamos a, a recibir la ofrenda. There are several ways to give. Hay ciertas maneras de dar. There is the traditional uh, check and card. Puede dar usted aquí eh, en efectivo o con cheque. Or we have our text to give. O puede mandar un texto para dar. Or our church center app giving. O por medio de la aplicación que usted bajó en su celular puede dar su ofrenda so, por medio del celular. So we could all stand and si I'll podemos ponernos de pie, por favor. Lord, we thank you today. Thank you for this time in fellowship. Thank you for the ministry of your church today. Thank you for your spirit today. I pray for the offering, Lord, that it would meet the need of your body today, Jesus, that it would meet the need of the church today, Lord. I pray for every giver today, Lord. I pray for those that are giving, though I pray for us blessing, that you will pour out your blessing upon each and every one of us today, Lord. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I pray, Lord, that you will bless this time of fellowship and this time of giving. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Friends, let's worship the Lord in another song. Jesus at the center of it all. Jesus at the center of it all. at the same Jesus at the center of it all
Every knee will bow. Every knee will bow. And every tongue shall confess you, Jesus. Say that name. What name? Jesus. What's the name? Jesus. Say Jesus. that name a few more times Jesus in your family Jesus in your church Jesus break the chains what's the name Jesus in your house Jesus there is power in that name what's the name Jesus come on say that name the name of our all names, Jesus, from the heart, from my heart to the heaven, Jesus be the center, all about, nothing about me, it's all about you, yes, it's all about you, from my heart to the heaven, Jesus be There's no other name.
What's that name? Jesus. Come on, call on that name. Jesus. 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 That's the name that can save. What goes in this world? We thank you. We can call on that name, that mighty name, that everlasting name, the name that saves. Come on, nice and loud. Let's call on that name.
worship you. To worship you. I live, I live to worship you. We sing. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, Praise God. You may be seated. Um, probably on so many levels today. Quizá en cierto, uh, varios niveles este día. It's a very special service. Es un servicio muy especial. To me, it started early this morning. Para mí, comenzó temprano esta mañana. Actually, it probably started a couple of weeks ago. Uh, en verdad, sucedió hace unas semanas atrás. And certainly all of us, I would think, Ciertamente, todos vosotros aquí, yo pienso, are here to honor Jesus Christ. Están aquí para honrar a Jesucristo. Yes. Sí. And, um, and of course, we spent um, about an hour and a half honoring or thanking the people of Living Hope. Y claro que pasamos una hora y media o más honrando y agradeciendo al pueblo de Living Hope. That make Living Hope what it is. Que hacen esta iglesia lo que es. A lot of volunteers. Mucho, uh, mucho voluntario. People who came to an altar. Gente que vino a un altar. And gave their life to Jesus. Y dieron su vida entregada a Jesús. Were baptized in the name of Jesus fueron bautizados en el nombre de Jesús for the remission of sins por la remisión de sus pecados and many have received the baptism of the spirit y muchos han recibido el bautismo del Espíritu Santo speaking with other tongues hablando en otras lenguas as the fulfillment of a promise como el cumplimiento de la promesa dada 
And we have many friends here today. Y tenemos ambos amigos aquí. In, in now my 50 years. En mis 50 años. This is my wife and I's 50th year. Este es el, eh, el año 50 de mi esposa y yo. Not only, certainly of marriage. No solo de matrimonio. But also of ministry. Sino en el ministerio al igual. And, and we are thankful. Y estamos agradecidos. But we also have many friends. First here today. Pero también tenemos varios visitantes este día. We have first time guests. Tenemos visitantes por la primera vez. Uh, John, Jonathan and Nadika return. El hermano Jonathan y su esposa Nadika han regresado. And brought their own first time guest. Y regresaron con un invitado eh, por primera vez. Nathaniel. Nathaniel. Now. Because of all of the sickness that has been around, por la eh, enfermedad que se ha paseado a, a nuestro alrededor, I know everybody wants to run over there and see the baby. Yo sé que todos quieren correr y ver al bebé. But I have to ask you not not today. Pero les pido que no lo hagan hoy. Because we don't want them to fear the baby getting sick. No quiero que ellos teman el bebé eh, se enferme. But we're glad you're here. Pero estamos contentos que están con nosotros. And uh, and of course, Dan and Evelyn. El igual eh, la pareja Daniel y Evelyn. And that's really probably what the rest of this service is going to be. Y about. el resto de este servicio se tratará de esto. Usually in the past, usualmente en el pasado, Evelyn would be translating. La hermana Evelyn est estuviera traduciendo aquí. Uh, but today, pero hoy, there is a higher calling. Hay un llamado más alto. And um, You know, so many things I want to say. Harry, Muchas cosas que quiero decir. I'm glad you're here today. Hermano Harry, bienvenido. Me da gusto que esté, está aquí. You and your wife. It's a, see, um, Marcia. Usted y su esposa, yes. Marcia. We're glad you're here today. Agradecidos que están con nosotros hoy. Jesus is the answer for every problem. Jesús es la respuesta para todo problema. He is the answer to every situation. Él es la respuesta a toda situación. And this may be your first time here. Y quizá esta será la primera vez de usted aquí. Marvin's wife, Pamela. La esposa de Marvin, Pamela. We welcome you. And we welcome Marvin too. Y también a Marvin le damos la bienvenida. And they have two children. Y tienen dos niños. That's wonderful. Beautiful little girls. No one. Dos bellas hijas. Well, We're, we're glad you're here. I'll mess it all estamos up. Contentos que estamos really aquí. Disculpe here. ahí si he mencionado algo equivocado. And I saw Lex and Fanny. También he visto a Alex y Fanny. And I saw Lexi. Y también a Lexi. She's my girl. And Lex. Um, and Papi. Yes. Y papá yes. allá I, I guess también. It, papi and Mommy. Said, papá y mamá también están aquí. We're so glad you're here. And your friends. Estamos agradecidos que están aquí sus amigos también. We're so glad you're here. Uh, you know, so, so much to say. Hay mucho por decir. And I just want everyone to know we're so thankful that you're here today. Y quiero que a todos ustedes que sepan que agradecemos su presencia en este lugar. Brother and Sister Harding, we're so glad that Jackson is okay. El hermano y hermana Harding, estamos agradecidos que Jackson está bien. Yes. So, I'm going Así to take the first hour and preach. Tomaré la primera hora and para predicar. Maybe not. No, bromeo. But I think I'm going to preach. Quizá no. So much to learn. Hay mucho que aprender. Not only about Jesus, but no his, solo de Jesús, his purpose and his ways. Sino su propósito y sus caminos. And uh, so I'm going to talk to us a bit. Voy a hablarnos un poco. About the pastor. El pastor. I don't think I've ever done that. No creo que yo he hablado de esta manera. But I can do this today. Pero lo puedo hacer hoy. Because we have a new pastor 
and his wife among us. Porque tenemos un pastor nuevo y su esposa no. entre vosotros. I, I don't mean all those times I was prophesying when I said Pastor Dan. Yo no sabía que todo el tiempo que le llamaba yo Pastor Dan, Dan a él que estaba profetizando. But God is bringing it to pass. Pero Dios lo está trayendo a a pasar, a acontecer. Not long ago on a Sunday, no hace mucho tiempo en un domingo, uh, Dan had come to the front. Dan vino aquí enfrente and he asked me, y me preguntó, How do I know for sure this is the will of God? ¿Cómo sabría yo si esta es la voluntad de Dios? Because in their particular situation, porque en la situación particular de ellos, there is a tremendous amount of Sacrifice. Hay una grande cantidad de sacrificio de parte de ellos. But I will say this to everyone. Yo diré esto a todos. Because we have others who will eventually pastor. Porque tenemos otros entre vosotros que pastorearán. Because that is God's plan. Porque ese es el plan de Dios. Robert Louis Stevenson said. El, el señor Robert Louis Stevenson dijo. You can measure the greatness of a church Puede medir la grandeza de una iglesia by the sending of people to preach the gospel. Por cuánta gente envían a predicar el evangelio a otros lugares. We often think the greatness of a church nosotros eh, pensamos por lo, lo popular que la grandeza de una iglesia is by the of in the está medida por la cantidad de personas sentadas en la congregación. But hopefully, In that crowd, Pero esperamos que entre esa multitud, there is someone haya alguien who will feel a higher calling. Que sienta un llamado más alto. We should never be content to stay where we are spiritually. Nunca debemos estar contentos quedarnos donde estamos en lo espiritual. We must be challenged. Debemos ser retados to grow, a crecer, to mature, a madurar. And to serve y a servir the Lord Jesus Christ. al Señor Jesucristo. So I'm going to ask you to stand for the reading of some scriptures. Voy a pedir que se pongan de pie para leer varios versos. Turning to the book of Acts. En el libro de los Hechos. Chapter 4. Capítulo 4. Verse 36 and 37. Versos 36 y 37. Now I choose the book of Acts today. Yo he elegido el libro de Hechos este día. Because we are an apostolic people. Porque somos una gente apostólica. And that simply means. Y simplemente significa. We are striving. Que estamos alcanzando, estirándonos. To be more like Jesus in our actions. Para ser más como Jesucristo en nuestra acción. And the book of Acts. En el libro de los hechos was the first group of the church fue el primer grupo de la iglesia that was sent forth que fue enviado to reach the world para alcanzar al mundo. So I'm going to read Voy a leer verse 36, verso 36 And Joseph, who by the apostles was surnamed Barnabas, which is being interpreted the son of consolation, a Levite and of the country of Cyprus, Having land, sold it, and moved to Parma. Oh, that is not what it says. So, sold it and brought the money and laid it at the apostles' feet. Oh, no, no. I just used that scripture To speak of the sacrifice of the early church. He used this verse that I'm going to read to talk about the sacrifice of the early church. Libro de Hechos, chapter 4, verses 36 to 37. And then chapter 10. Did you? Oh, yes. Read. Entonces, José, a quien los apóstoles pusieron por sobrenombre Bernabé, que traducido es hijo de consolación. Levita natural de Chipre, como tenía una heredad, vendió y le trajo al precio y lo puso a los pies de los apóstoles. Then Acts chapter 10, verse 22. Hechos 10, 22. Well, let's read 21 and 22. Vamos a leer del 21 al 22. Then Peter went down to the men which were sent unto him from Cornelius and said, Behold, I am he whom ye seek. What is the cause wherewith you are come? 
And they said, Cornelius the centurion, a just man, and one that feareth God, and of good report among all the nations, nation of the Jews, was warned from God by an holy angel to send for thee into his house and to hear the words of thee. Hechos, 20, uh, Hechos, Hechos 10, 21 al 22. Entonces Pedro, descendiendo a donde estaban los hombres que fueron enviados por Cornelio, les dijo, He aquí, yo soy el que buscáis. ¿Cuál es la causa por la que habéis venido? Ellos dijeron, Cornelio el centurión, varón justo y temeroso de Dios, y que tiene buen testimonio en toda la nación de los judíos, ha recibido instrucciones de un santo ángel de hacerte venir a su casa para oír tus palabras. Amen. You, you may be seated. Amen. Puede tomar su lugar. In the Old Testament, en el Antiguo Testamento, under the law, bajo la ley, a representative was chosen from the tribe of Levi, un representante era elegido de la tribu de Levi, to fulfill the role of a priest, para cumplir eh, la tarea de un sacerdote. The priest was a representative of the people to God. El, el sacerdote era un representante del pueblo de Dios hacia Dios mismo. He was also a representative of God to the people. Y también era el representante de Dios hacia el pueblo de Dios. But as we come to the New, New Testament, pero entrando en el Nuevo Testamento, and Jesus, the Son of God, y Jesucristo, el Hijo de Dios, who came and laid down his life, que vino y, y dio su vida, to redeem the world from its sins, para redimir al mundo de sus pecados, according to Hebrews, de acuerdo a Hebreos, the book in the New Testament, el libro del Nuevo Testamento, he brought to us a new and living way, nos trajo de nuevo un camino nuevo de vida, through Jesus Christ, por medio de Jesucristo, a new and living way, un, un camino nuevo de vida, and the representative, y el representante, from the book of Acts, del libro de los hechos, through the book of Revelation, al libro de Apocalipsis, was now referred to as, ahora era referido, the pastor, como el pastor, the pastor, el pastor, and uh, I'm sure there is much details that I will not cover, yo sé que hay más detalles cual, cuales no cubriré, but because I want to say, in a way, representing Dan and Evelyn. Porque quiero decir de cierta manera otra representando a Dan y Evelyn. But at the same time, I'm preaching to them. Pero al igual les estoy predicando a ellos. And yet, I certainly hope to give an education to Living Hope. Y quiero ciertamente dar también una educación a la iglesia Living Hope. On the role of the pastor. En la tarea o la responsabilidad del pastor. Now, I am not the first pastor in this couple's life. Ahora yo no soy el primer pastor en la vida de esta pareja. Now they were our first couple. Ahora ellos fueron nuestra primera pareja of Living Hope DC. De la iglesia Living Hope Washington DC. And uh, and they will be greatly missed. Y van a ser grandemente extrañados. In the scripture, en la escritura, there are several uh, words that are used to describe the office of the pastor. Hay varias palabras usadas para describir la, la, el ministerio del pastor. Psalms 127. Salmo 127. Isaiah 21. Isaías 21. And Ezekiel chapter 3. Y Ezequiel capítulo 3. Refer to this person hablan de esta persona as the watchman como aquel que el vigilante que the vigila watchman. el que vigila now i can describe that to you after 50 years ahora yo le puedo describir después de 50 años of becoming a watchman de ser llamado a ser un vigilante it's to be aware es de estar consciente of the people that god puts under your oversight. De la gente que Dios pone bajo de la mira de uno. It's to watch for their souls. Es para velar por las almas de ellos. It's to love when they're not lovable. Es de amar cuando ellos no son amables. 
is to pray es de orar instead of being angry. En vez de enojarse con ellos. The watchman. El vigilante. He is Él es referred to in Isaiah referido en Isaías as the prophet cries out. Como el profeta que clama con watchman, voz. Watchman, watchman, what of the night? Aquel vigilante, vigilante de la noche. ¿Qué sucede en la noche? When has the earth, Porque cuando la oscuridad cubre la tierra. Know, today, yo le dije a uno de sus familiares de ellos que están aquí este día. I plan to preach to them. Yo les voy a predicar a ellos también. I make no, secrets about it. no hago secretos de ello. We are soon approaching the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. Pronto se acerca la venida de Jesucristo. It's amazing that we are still here today. Qué asombrante, hermanos, que aún estamos aquí hoy. And the call of God must be felt in this room. Y el llamado de Dios será sentido en este este lugar. We cannot afford to play church. No podemos, hermanos, eh, no tenemos el lujo de jugar a la iglesia. We're not here pretending. No estamos pretendiendo. We sincerely feel the weight. Sinceramente sentimos la carga. For every soul that's here today. Por cada alma que está en este lugar aquí. That we must challenge you. Que debemos retarles a las and almas. And encourage you. Y animarles. To make yourself ready for the coming of Jesus Christ. Que se preparen para la venida de Jesucristo. That's the watchman. Eso es el vigilante. Um, others may think that we should change our message otros quizá uh, opinan o piensan que debemos de cambiar that, nuestro mensaje that we should give up our holiness debemos de deshacernos de la santidad that we should give up our identity our spiritual identity que rindamos nuestra identidad espiritual that speaking with tongues is no longer necessary que hablar en las lenguas espirituales ya no es necesario but the true church of Jesus Christ pero la iglesia verdadera de Jesucristo must have a watchman Debe de tener un vigilante who takes it seriously que lo toma en serio to rescue people rescatar a personas from the darkness that covers the earth de la oscuridad que cubre la tierra he said darkness would cover the earth dijo que la oscuridad las tinieblas cubrirán la tierra and gross darkness the people y oscuridad profunda sobre las almas that means they would begin to think different Significa que comenzarían a pensar diferente. Once they prayed at our altars with us. Un día oraron en los altares aquí entre nosotros. Once they preached it very strong and lived it very strong. Un día lo predicaron fuerte y lo vivieron fuerte. But darkness has come. Pero la oscuridad, las tinieblas vinieron. And people are being persuaded. Y la gente está siendo persuadida por espíritus engañosos that it's not really all that que todo eso no es necesario that it's not really que no es esencial But the has to stand and to the pero el vigilante tiene que ponerse de pie y declarar al pueblo and this is where I'm to Dan and y yo hablo aquí en esta manera a Dan y Evelyn no todo el mundo te va a todos les van a, a palmear las manos, hermano. Some people will tell you you're old fashioned. Gente te dirá que son anticuados ustedes. And I deserve the right to be old fashioned because I'm old. Y yo, yo, hermano, reservo la opinión porque yo estoy viejo. But you must buy into. Pero usted tiene que comprar esto. The gospel that saves El evangelio souls que salva sin. las almas del pecado. The church is a place where people come when they have problems. La iglesia es el lugar donde la gente viene cuando hay problemas. Sinners come to Jesus. Pecadores vienen a Jesús. Sick people come to Jesus. Enfermos vienen a Jesús. The church is a place where prayer la iglesia es un lugar donde la oración must be strong debe ser fuerte and it must be deep y and profunda loud. y poderosa. 
We're not like others. No somos como los demás, hermanos. We're not willing to become pretenders. No vamos a, pre a ser pretendientes, hermanos. Because our world is in trouble. Porque el mundo está en problemas. Our families are in trouble. La familia tiene problemas. The men are in trouble. Los hombres están en the problemas. The women are in trouble. Las mujeres están Young en problemas. Young people can't even figure out what they are. Los jóvenes no saben qué género son. And the church must stand and declare. Y la iglesia debe de ponerse de pie. God created the heaven and the earth. En el principio Dios creó los cielos y la tierra. Evelyn, I know it's your family. Hermana Evelyn, yo sé que es su familia. But I may never get another shot. Pero quizás no tengo otra oportunidad de predicar. So I must do my best. Voy a hacer lo mejor. To persuade. De persuadir. It's not the time to give up. No es el tiempo de rendirse. No es el tiempo de irse de aquí. Es el tiempo de correr a Jesús. El vigilante. El segundo. Se encuentra en números lugares en la Biblia. Libro de números. Jeremías. Ezequiel. Ezequiel, Zachariah, Zacarías, and of course in the New Testament, y claro en el Nuevo Testamento, Jesus himself spoke Jesucristo mismo habló of the shepherd, de el pastor, the shepherd, el pastor. There's an old song, había una, un canto antiguo, because that's what I know is old songs, porque es lo que yo soy eh, antiguo y las canciones antiguas me gustan. And the the words that old song, y las palabras de ese canto antiguo, are something like this. Son algo así. The shepherd went out. To look for his sheep. El, el pastor fue a buscar sus, por sus ovejas. And all through the night. Y toda la noche. On the rocky steep. En ese lugar oscuro. He sought till he found him. Lo buscó hasta en que encontró esa oveja he perdida. He left the ninety-nine in the fold. Las noventa y nueve dejó en el rebaño. But in his spirit, the shepherd searches. Pero en su espíritu el sacer, el, el pastor busca. For the one lost sheep. Por aquella oveja perdida. The wolf. El lobo. He only has destruction. Solo tiene destrucción. To the sheep in his mind. Para la oveja en la mente del lobo. But the shepherd. Pero el pastor. His prayers Su oración are sometimes early in the a veces son morning, temprano en la madrugada. Sometimes late at night. A veces tarde en la noche. Seeking for that lost sheep. Buscando por esa Where oveja perdida. Where are you, my brother? ¿Dónde estás, mi hermano? Where are you, my sister? ¿Dónde estás, mi hermana? I remember when you used to seek me. Yo recuerdo the cuando me buscabas. The great shepherd cries El espíritu today. del pastor clama en este día. Says, I remember when you were in your youth. Y le dice, yo recuerdo cuando and estabas en tu juventud me. y buscaste de mí. I remember when you were young in your faith. Yo recuerdo cuando eras joven en and tu fe. Me. Y buscaste de mí. Don't go so far. No te vayas tan lejos. That you forget that the answer to your salvation. Que no te olvides que te olvides que la respuesta a tu salvación is Jesus Christ. Es Jesucristo. His name Su is above every name. Es sobre todo nombre. He's not interested in you just being religious. No está interesado en su religión. Joining a church will not save you. Uni uniéndose a una iglesia no le salvará. When they shake your hand, Dan. Cuando le sacuden, cuando le le den la you mano. You don't get to give them salvation. Usted les dé la salvación a ellos. Hello. Escúcheme. Because religion won't do it. Que la religión no hará esto, hermanos. It will be at that altar. Será en ese altar. It's going to be those nights Esas noches when you express donde usted expresa by the anointing of the Spirit. Por la unción del Espíritu. We refer to it as intercession. Lo referimos a intercesión. Anyone that's been a part of Living Hope for any time. Cualquier persona que ha sido parte de Living Hope por cualquier periodo de tiempo. Has recognized that there has been a spirit of intercession upon this congregation. Han reconocido que hay un espíritu de intercesión sobre esta congregación. That when they pray, que cuando oran, hermanos, and God is moving on their heart, y Dios se mueve en sus corazones, their prayers are not pretty prayers. Sus oraciones no son bonitas, hermanos. I accept the God. Solo a Dios son fragantes. But the prayers are often felt with tears. Pero las oraciones that, siempre son con yeah, gemidos, yeah. con lágrimas, con quebrantamiento. And intercession. Intercesión. 
is what that's called. Es lo que eso se llama. That's the spirit of the shepherd. Ese es el espíritu del pastor. Interceding for the lost sheep. Intercediendo por las almas perdidas. We know you're going to a place where there's a lot of hurt people. Sabemos que van a ir al lugar donde hay mucha gente quebrada y dolida. Because you were a marine, I know you can handle it. Y porque usted era un marín, un marino, usted puede eh, con esto. And and your wife, she's got a bit of. Uh, y su esposa tiene un poco, hermano, de. Opinions. Opiniones. And to some. Y algunos. That might be considered to be a detriment. Eso algunos pensarían que eso es un detrimento. But I promise you. Pero yo les prometo. God has made you the strong people that you are. Dios los ha hecho la gente fuerte quien son hoy. So that. No matter who comes to you no importa quién venga usted and tries to persuade you y trata de persuadirle to change what you believe, de cambiar lo que usted cree, you stand on the solid rock. Usted manténgase sobre firme sobre la roca. Jesus will be your answer. Jesucristo será tu respuesta, tu ancla. Yes. It won't be mean. No seré, no seré yo. Maybe. Quizá. No, no. It won't be harsh. Hermanos, no será algo duro, rudo. It will be the shepherd. Será el pastor. Loving the flock. Amando al rebaño. I think my understanding this flock's going to be small. To Creo que with. mi entendimiento este rebaño será pequeño al empiezo. But it's going to grow. Pero va a crecer, hermanos. It's going to grow. Va a crecer. And Today, living hope. Y hoy, living hope. As a body, como un cuerpo, are going to make commitments. Vamos a hacer compromisos. To pray. De orar. For the shepherd. Por el pastor. En ese lugar. Parma, Ohio. De en la ciudad de Parma, Ohio. Shepherd. So many things could be said. Muchas cosas pueden ser dichas en este about momento. About being the shepherd. One ser more. hermanos el pastor. One more. Uno más. And that is the word pastor. Y es la palabra pastor. Jeremiah 3.15. I can't read my own writing. Jeremías 3.15. Would, would you get that? Jeremiah 3.15. Jeremías 3.15. And I believe it says where God said, I will give you pastors after my own heart. Yo creo que aquí ese verso dice yo os haré pastores según mi corazón. We're going to do some apostolic things here today. Vamos a hacer cosas apostólicas aquí hoy. And we're not sure everybody will understand it. Y a lo mejor no todos aquí entiendan lo que vamos a hacer. And you may not even agree with it. Y quizás algunos no estén de acuerdo con lo que vamos a hacer. But you're on our turf. Pero usted está en nuestra casa. So you can just watch and have your own opinion. Así usted usted puede ser un espectador y tener su opinión, claro. But we're going to from the example of Jesus. Pero por el ejemplo de Jesucristo. At the last supper. En la última cena. When he was finished. Cuando él terminó. And was going to send them forth. Y los iba a enviar, hermanos. He washed their feet. Lavó sus pies. And um, don't worry, I asked Dan and Evelyn to wash their feet before they came. No se preocupe, le pedí a los hermanos que se lavaran los pies antes de venir. But we are going to wash their feet. Pero vamos a lavarle los pies. And we are going to anoint them with oil. Vamos a ungirles con aceite. And we're going to pray over them. Y orar por ellos. And I'm going to give them a challenge. Y les daré un reto a ellos. Don't let anybody. No deje que nadie. Change what you preach. Cambie lo que usted predica. Don't do it. No lo haga. We're living in a changing world. Vivemos en un mundo, hermanos, que sigue cambio y cambio. Only one gospel. Pero solo hay un evangelio that saves a soul que from salva sin. al alma de pecado. So I got some things I'm going to read, and then I'm going to have you come up. Voy a leer unas cosas, después voy a pedir que pasen. We have two chairs there for you. Tenemos dos sillas para que tomen sus asientos. I've asked Pastor Eric and Sister Jody. Le pido al Pastor Eric y la hermana Jody que vengan. My wife and I, we feel if we get down on our knees, we might not get back up. Esposa y yo pensamos que si nos arrodillamos ya no nos levantamos de nuevo. And we have some gifts we want to present to you. Pero queremos presentarles con un regalo. No money. No hay dinero. You know I've done a good job of fighting back the tears. Estoy haciendo un buen trabajo, hermanos, en no llorar. Se me ha sonudo la garganta. We love you all. Les amamos, hermanos. So much. Mucho. 
I know there have been days when you question that. Y sé que usted that, cuestionó días pastor, he really loved que him. si ese pastor yo les amaba a ustedes o no. All I can say to everyone else, lo que yo puedo decir a todos los demás if you will understand this, si usted entendería esto, everything that God allows us to go through todo lo que Dios permite que pasemos, is about preparation for es para our tomorrow. And we don't always get para to llamado. choose. Y no siempre somos elegidos. The trial that he allows us to go through. No siempre elegimos la, la, la tribulación, la prueba que Dios nos, nos pone. Because he is preparing us to make a difference in our world. Porque Dios nos está preparando para hacer una diferencia en el mundo. I, I don't know how you prepare people for this crazy world we're living in. Yo no sé cómo uno prepara a la gente, hermano, para lanzarlos a este mundo. You better have the Holy Ghost working. Usted vale más que tenga el Espíritu Santo. So, I got about five pages of something I'm going to read. Tengo cinco páginas de algo que quiero leer. And then, y después, you know what? Why don't you and Evelyn come up here? ¿Por qué no vienen de una vez? I can look at you. Quiero verlos. Um, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to ask my wife and Eric and Jody to come. Voy a pedir a mi esposa y al hermano, be, hermana listen, Jody. And there's so many people here. Hay mucha gente aquí. Who love Dan and Evelyn? Que aman very a esta much. pareja, Dan y Evelyn. Well, give me a chance to read, and then we'll move the podium so there's no. Dime una oportunidad de leer y después moveremos el púlpito. And then I think you all would understand this. Her family is here. Yo creo que ustedes entenderán esto. Su familia de ellos está aquí. And I certainly would, if I can get them close enough to this altar, they may not get away. Y ciertamente puedo cerrar este altar, quizás no se escapan. Pamela, you all think you think we're crazy yet? Pamela, este piensa que estamos locos un poquito. You think we're crazy, Pamela? Se piensa que estamos locos, Pamela. It's okay. Está bien. It was 16 years ago. Hace 16 años. That we met. Que conocimos. Dan and Evelyn. Uh, Dan y Evelyn. I thought it kind of interesting this year. Lo pensé un poco interesante este año. We were new in D.C. Éramos nuevos aquí en DC. And we were working to get a group of people together. Y estábamos trabajando para juntar un grupo de gente. To start another work. De abrir una obra nueva. Actually, this is like our fifth church that we've started. Esta es como nuestra quinta iglesia que hemos eh, sembrado. And uh, I don't know. I was filled with a determination. Yo estaba lleno con una determinación. That Jesus could still save people in DC. Que Jesucristo todavía podía salvar a gente en DC. You know, when you get old, Cuando usted se hace viejo, ¿sabe? you lose all the filters. Se le, se le van los filtros, hermanos. That just means you say what you feel like saying. Uno dice lo que quiere, lo que siente decir, hermano. That's dangerous. Eso es peligroso. But Jesus didn't come to save you in your sins. Pero Jesucristo no vino. He came to save you from your sins. No vino a salvarlo a ustedes sus pecados. That's scripture. No vino a salvarte en tu Matthew pecado, sino 1, de tus pecados. And, right? Mateo 1, 21 23. al 23. So, so 16 years ago we came, Hace 16 años venimos. And I met this marine. Y conocí a este marino. And he had his girlfriend with him. Y su novia con él. And they came to a little service we had that actually a youth group from Canton. Ohio, y un, un, vinieron con un grupo de jóvenes de Canton, Ohio. Yeah. Thank you, Pastor Orson. Sorry. So, actually, I asked Dan if he'd like to go play softball. Yo le pedí al hermano Dan que si gustaría venir a jugar béisbol. And that was it. Y eso fue todo. Because he likes softball. Que le gusta el béisbol. So he went with us. We took a group. We got a group together, and we went to Lexington Park. 
vino con nosotros sí, en un grupo y a Lexington Park Dan, y jugamos. I thought it was kind of interesting that this year. Y creo que es interesante que este año. I, I never, I never actually got on the field. Nunca me metí a la, a la cancha ahí. I, I went to one practice. Fui a la práctica. Tried to catch a fly ball and fell on my face. Y traté de eh, pescar una pelota y me and caí. And I realized that 72-year-old men shouldn't be playing softball. Y me di cuenta que un anciano de 72 años no debe estar jugando béisbol. But you and I drove down together to Pero usted y yo and, and you played some ball. I thought that was interesting. Fuimos que eh, y tú jugaste was, pelota ya. It was about that time this story began to unfold. Era ese tiempo que esta historia comenzó a desarrollarse. There have been many experiences. Ha habido muchas experiencias en nosotros aquí juntos en esta jornada. Muchos de ellos tienen que ver mucho con la presencia de Dios. Many, many muchas juntas de oración. Usted ve ese cuarto allí donde basement, orábamos, después al sótano, then to southwest, después al, al sur uh, oeste, then to the high school, después a la a la escuela. And then we traveled all around the world. Después hemos ha sido todo el mundo teniendo iglesia. And you suffered a great deal. Y ustedes sufrieron una gran cosa. During that time. Durante esos tiempos. Especially the last couple of years. Especialmente los últimos varios años. But you remained faithful. Pero se mantuvieron fieles. And so I'm not going to spend a lot of time on the past. No voy a eh, permanecer mucho en el pasado. Quiero hablarte de tu futuro. He realizado que Olivia y Lizzie están allá. Son parte, mucho parte de lo que está a punto de suceder acá. And this is not something that we can just lightly take. Y no es algo que podemos tomar ligero. Debe de haber una unción que viene sobre ellos. La unción de un pastor. Usted ha estado en esta iglesia y ha hecho muchas cosas. Pero cuando usted se convierte en el hombre. Usted sabe. Cuando usted se convierte en ese pastor. I probably shouldn't have said it the way the man, but you're quizás no lo hubiera dicho de esa manera, pero usted sabe that God holds responsible. que Dios, hermano, lo hace responsable a usted. Your prayers are different. Tu oración es diferente. And your decisions are different. Y tu decisión es diferente. When you sit out there, Cuando usted se sienta acá afuera, es so easy to say, well, the pastor ought to do this. Eh, usted es fácil decir el pastor debe de hacer esto el pastor debe de ser el otro usted recuerde recuerde que el pastor tiene que responder a Dios por cada decisión que él hace en la iglesia hace como 48 años nuestra familia Linda y yo And then the kids to come. después los niños que vinieron hicimos unas decisiones que transformaron nuestra vida like you've made in the last few weeks. como ustedes han hecho las últimas semanas We would assist three pastors asistiríamos tres pastores from 1974 to 1978. del 74 al 78 finalmente nos mudamos a Sedona, Arizona para fundar una iglesia I had no, idea what that meant. no tenía por, eh, un menor idea de lo que significaba eso young. estaba joven On fire, en fuego, had all kinds of things happen. Todo tipo de cosas me pasaban. But the one thing that empowered us to do it. Pero la, una co la única cosa que nos empoderó para hacerlo. Was the spirit of God. Era el espíritu de Dios. It was amazing. Es, era asombrante. We had floods come and watched our home float away and. Veíamos que venían allí diluvios. Yo era tan lindo con la gente y la gente venía a la iglesia con navaja para matarme. Usted es más grande que yo, usted no va a tener ese problema que yo tuve. Pero yo oro. Porque no sabe uno, hermano, los días en que vivimos. Lo que vamos a enfrentar. So for the next, this is the part that got me the most, Dan. Esa es la cosa que a mí me afectó lo más, hermano Dan. So for the next 45 years, los últimos 45 años, almost every Sunday morning, 
casi cada domingo por la mañana. We would gather somewhere with a group of people. Nos juntábamos en un lugar con un grupo de, de personas. Sometimes it might have been two. A veces eran solo dos personas. Sometimes it might have been a great crowd like this. A veces eran grupos grandes como estos. But we would gather with a group of people pero juntábamos to, to con un grupo de personas para predicar el Evangelio. Yo no pensé que esta semana que esos días, hermanos, eh, llegaran a su fin. Yo nunca pensé, hermano, que me haría viejo en esto. Yo pensé que Jesús venía por mí y me llevaba. Pero el tiempo siempre marchando. Pero el tiempo sigue marchando. And the church must have young leadership. Y la iglesia debe de tener liderazgo joven. And so living hope must understand this, y Living Hope tiene que entender esto. That, hello? Hermanos. This summer you're about to see all kind of stuff happen. Este verano usted va a ver muchas cosas tomar lugar. People come in and get saved you never believed you could get saved. Usted va a ver gente entrar aquí y ser salva que nunca creyó antes. God's going to fill the building up. Dios va a llenar este edificio. And you reminded me. Usted me recordó. By your decision and your sacrifices. Su decisión y sus sacrificios, hermano. And your choices. Y sus eh, decisiones. Of those decisions. Esas decisiones. How powerful they are. Qué tan poderosas son sus decisiones, hermano. I'm glad all your here. Yo me alegro que tu familia está aquí. And I love them. Y yo les amo a ellos. You cannot let them Pero no puedes permitirlos que ellos hagan decisiones you. por ustedes, hermano. And I love you all, y les amo a ustedes. They don't belong to you. Ellos no pertenecen a ustedes. As of today, Desde este día, when they respond to the call of God, ellos respondieron al llamado they de Dios. No longer belong to you, ya no pertenecen a ustedes. Aún en parte, they belong. To Jesus Christ. Pertenecen a Jesucristo. They are his vessels. Son vasos de Jesús. Pastor. Pastor. A special calling from God. Un llamado especial de Dios. And Dan, this is you and me talking. Dan, estamos hablando usted y yo, hombre a hombre. There were times where había momentos I'm sure my wife I had lost my mind. yo sé que mi esposa pensó que había perdido mi mente And there were times when we disagreed. y había tiempos que yo ya no estábamos de acuerdo it, she was most of the time right. y yo me enojaba porque la mayoría del tiempo mi esposa tenía la razón déjame decirte mi esposa hizo una gran diferencia en nuestro ministerio she believed ella creyó in me. en mí. Now, I know you gotta believe in God. Yo sé que tienes que creer en Dios. Yo My sé. Wife believed in me. Mi esposa creyó en mí. And she demonstrated it because she followed me everywhere I went. Y lo demostró porque me siguió donde yo iba. Willingly, I think. Dispuesta a hacerlo. But we're still together. Todavía estaba joven yo. She believed in our calling. Me, me creyó en nuestro llamado ella. She believed that God Creo que Dios nos había escogido para ser ministros. Usted tiene que creer eso. Van a haber días, hermano. Va a decir, ¿qué estaba pensando yo? Sacrificó conmigo. Así se va, hermano. Trabajó conmigo. She wept with me. Lloró conmigo. When people walked away from us. Cuando la gente nos abandonó. And my heart would be broken. Y mi corazón se quebraba. She would hold me and we would cry. Ella me, me agarraba en sus brazos como un niño y llorábamos juntos. Like today when como we drive away from here. Cuando vayamos, nos íbamos, vamos de este lugar. Voy a estar llorando. But this is a good thing. Pero esta es una cosa buena, hermano. Kind of sweet, you know? Esto será algo dulce y amargo. Joy because I know what awaits you. Y un gozo porque sé lo que When te espera. Cuando tú pongas ese púlpito y hables la palabra de Dios en ese púlpito. Vidas serán cambiadas. 
you will see the miraculous take place. Serás lo, verá, verás lo milagroso tomar lugar. And you never know what the next Sunday is going to bring. Y no vas a saber lo que el próximo domingo the traerá. The lame may walk, the blind el may see, andará, the el ciego verá, el sordo oirá. Marriages may be healed. Matrimonios serán sanados. And week after week, you just keep doing. Y semana tras semana sigue haciéndolo. Pastor, Dan. They got all kind of new brands of stuff out there, man. Tiene todo tipo de marcas allá, hermano. Sí. Terminos. Up to me some time back un hombre vino a mí hace un tiempo atrás. We me, cuando estábamos en la escuela. Y me dijo, yo sé cómo haces todo esto, pastor. Said, well, y le dije yo, dime, dime. He said, you just don't quit. Usted no se da por vencido. And that's really the greatest challenge today. Y eso es el reto más grande that. hoy. The Spirit of God has called you. Es que el Espíritu de Dios te ha llamado. Everything you've been through, the good, the bad, and the Todo lo que has pasado, lo bueno, lo malo, y en, y en, y en medio de. I know there's times I hurt you. Yo sé que hay momentos que les lastimé yo a ustedes. Oh yes, don't tell the truth, son. Diga la verdad, hijo mío. But, but today and I, today you and I. Pero hoy usted y yo we know Romans 8, 28 really means what it says. sabemos Romanos 8.28 y sabemos que todas las cosas obran para el bien good para el bien to them that are the call por aquellos que son llamados de acuerdo al propósito de Dios. Sí, Dios te ha llamado. Lo, subimos, lo supimos hace mucho tiempo atrás. Pero llegar a donde hemos llegado hoy Voy a parar aquí, tengo muchas páginas, pero es suficiente. Quiero decirles que tanto les amo. Cuando tengan el servicio de instalación, hay cosas que quiero decir a la iglesia también. I know Dan and Evelyn have influenced so many of you. Yo sé que Dan y Evelyn han influ influenciado mucho a ustedes. Eso no significa que usted se va er, su maleta, hace su maleta y se va a seguirlos. Send them your prayers. Mande sus oraciones hacia allá. Let me, let me just say this. Quiero I decir esto. We think, oh yes, it's well meaning. Pensamos que lo hacemos que, con buena intención. But do you know you're going to have to understand that God is going to bring them specific people. Usted sabe que Dios le va a traer a ellos that gente específica pastor. que ellos van a pastorear. And they don't need all of us trying to tell those people how. Y no necesitan do. hermanos que nosotros les estemos diciendo cada rato. God called you here. Dios te llamó a ti aquí. And like it or not, He gave you me. Y si te gusta o no, te dio a mí como pastor. So. Uh, how we're going to do this first Creo que vamos a hacer esto. is Dan would you like to say anything Mano, Dan, ¿quiere decir algo usted? I feel like I, uh... I feel like six weeks ago four or five weeks ago I started a whirlwind todo parece como un torbellino de viento y espero que cuando todo esto se, se siente eh, esté clara claro lo que está sucediendo. Pero creo que yo me he dado cuenta de lo que se requiere para tener una iglesia exitosa con crecimiento. Haga todo como el pastor Satan lo hace. Love people. Ame a las the almas. Story about us going to play softball. La historia cuando fuimos a jugar fútbol o béisbol. It wasn't softball that kept me coming. No era hermanos el béisbol que me siguió atrayendo aquí. It was his love for people. Era su amor de él por las almas. And his desire to see people saved. Y su deseo de ver a las almas salvas. I was just getting out of the military at that time. Estaba saliendo del, del, del ejército en ese tiempo. And I drifted away from God. Y me había descarriado de Dios. But God used a pastor. Dios usó un pastor. To bring me back to him. Para traerme de regreso a él. 
Yo creo que los mismos milagros que vimos aquí en Living Hope DC los veremos en Parma. El primer servicio allí conocí un hombre por el nombre de Jim. Entré al santuario y conocí a Jim. Le pregunté y le dije, yo es mi primera vez aquí, ¿cuánto tiempo tienes tú aquí? Y dijo, esta es mi primera vez también. Y le dije, ¿cómo encontraste este lugar? He vivido aquí en Parma por 16 años. He estado pasando por esta iglesia todos los días. Y hoy sentí como que quería entrar aquí. After we got done preaching, Después de la prédica, él vino y me dijo, creo que tengo que bautizarme en el nombre de Jesús. And so we Jim in the name of Jesus for y bautizamos a Jim en el nombre de Jesús por la remisión de sus pecados. And as we're baptizing Jim, y mientras que bautizamos a Jim, I didn't know this at the time, yo no sabía esto al tiempo, but we have on video, pero tenemos en video un niño de la, el nombre, con el nombre Keegan, ocho años de edad, le dice a su abuela, says, le dice, abuela, oí la, oí la palabra de Dios predicar y tengo que ser bautizado. Today, Creo que hoy, people, Dios está llamando a gente al lugar de sacrificio para adelantar su reino y sometemos a su voluntad vamos a ver los grandes avivamientos que hemos visto hermanos se va a requerir hermano de adorar con la, la espada lo escuché esta semana uh, uh, Adorar. It was Abraham who was promised Isaac. Abraham fue prometido Isaac. But he was required to sacrifice Isaac. Pero hermanos estaba eh, requerido sacrificar a Isaac. And so Abraham, without hesitation, Abraham sin hesitación, goes up to the hill. Sube al monte. And before he's ready to to strike the child. Y antes de quitar la vida al, al niño. God says, I was waiting to see if you really loved me and if you were willing to sacrifice. Dios le dice, me. estaba viendo a ver si vas a obedecerme y sacrificarme. And because of that, many many people. Y por causa de eso, mucha gente. And so I'm excited to see what God is going to do in Parma, Ohio. Y estoy contento y animado de ver lo que Dios va a hacer en Parma, Ohio. Living Hope Parma. Living Hope Parma. Praise the Lord. Sorry, thank you. Gloria I, a Dios. I wrote it down because, um, Lo escribí. I didn't want to cry, but you know I'm no quería cry. llorar, pero usted sabe que voy a llorar. Um, it's an honor to stand before you today with such a great task ahead. The will es of God es un gran honor estar de pie ante ustedes hoy, la voluntad de Dios. La voluntad de Dios no siempre es fácil, mas no hay mejor lugar que estar más que en su presencia. And we have experienced the blessing en su voluntad y hemos experienciado su bendición and peace en el, y, y su paz that comes from surrendering que viene después de rendirse uno. To the will of God. A la voluntad de Dios. I first want to thank God Primero quiero dar gracias a Dios. And thank him for his goodness and agradec faithfulness. Agradecerle por su bondad y su fidelidad. And for have chosen us y por habernos elegido. To further his kingdom adelantar su reino. As pastors of Parma, Ohio. Como pastores de Parma, Ohio. A month ago, hace un mes. I had no idea Parma, Ohio even existed. Yo no sabía que esa ciudad existía. And since then, y desde entonces. God has placed the love Dios ha puesto un amor y una carga city, por una ciudad, people, por una gente, donde Dios nos ha llamado. Y quiero agradecer al pastor y a la hermana Linda support, por su apoyo y amor por nosotros. I mean, Hermanos, ¿podríamos haber tenido mejor pastores? They, 
They have been such a great example. Han sido gran ejemplo. Of how to stand on the word of God. En cómo estar firme sobre la palabra de Dios. And how to love people unconditionally. Y cómo amar a la gente incondicional. We have been blessed. Hemos sido bendecidos to be part of this work in DC, de ser parte de esta obra en DC, hermanos, from the very beginning, desde el principio, and to have witness y de haber eh, sido testigos of the power of God, del poder de Dios and changing, y, y el cambio, transforming, transformando, renewing, renovando the life of so many of you. la vida de muchos de ustedes. And we are so excited y estamos tan contentos de haber el mismo avivamiento en Parma, Ohio. En Parma, Ohio. Quiero agradecer a mi familia. It only took me leaving the state. Solo se llevó eh, que yo dejara el estado <laughs> para que todos ustedes estuvieran conmigo en la iglesia este día. But they are a rock in my life. Pero ellos son una roca en mi vida. They have loved us unconditionally. Nos han amado incondicional. And they have always supported us. Y nos han apoyado siempre. Even when we were the only ones having church service on Sunday. Aún cuando éramos los únicos que teníamos iglesia los domingos. Family functions always. Funciones familiares siempre. Revolved around our, our schedule. Siempre hermanos planificaban ellos alrededor de nuestro horario. And even though at Living Hope DC, y aunque en Living Hope DC we don't quite have an ending time, no tenemos una hora de, te, de término, <laughs> they always were considerate of that. ellos siempre eran considerados de eso. <laughs> and I want to thank my mommy and my daddy. Quiero agradecer a mamá y a papá. Because even though the idea of being so many miles away, porque la idea de estar muchas millas de lejos, it's heartbreaking. Ese me rompe el corazón. They have been helping me all weekend. Es me ha estado ayudando todo el fin de semana. Helping me pack each room of the house. Ayudándome a empacar mi cos mi casa. I was watching my dad yesterday. Y estaba con papá ayer. He's older. Está más grande. But he was right there, hand in hand with Daniel, cutting Pero bushes. Estaba ahí con Daniel, mano a mano, cortando árboles allí. And I thought. Y pensé yo. And they have truly shown us how to have a servant heart. Nos han enseñado papá y mamá cómo servir con un corazón de siervo. Because we serve in spite of how we think or feel. Porque servimos no importa cómo nos sentemos, hermanos. Because we know that the will of God is what is of most importance. O lo que pensamos porque sabemos que la voluntad de Dios es lo más importante. My sister Fanny, Mi hermana Fanny, who I think we're having the hardest time. Creo que estamos teniendo un tiempo duro. We have been 10 minutes away. Hemos estado 10 minutos de retirados. And now six hours away in y ahora 6 horas de, de lejos. But I know that our love will never fade. Yo sé que nuestro amor nunca se acabará. Now, I'm going to talk to you about my first weekend in Ohio. Te voy a hablar de mi primer fin de semana en Ohio. I woke up on a Saturday morning with so much anxiety. Desperté una, el sábado por la mañana con mucha ansiedad. And I felt y sentí that I can't be feeling this way if this is the will of God. Yo no me puedo sentir de esta manera si es la voluntad de Dios. And at this point, y en este punto, we were five days into our journey. Tenemos cinco días en esa jornada. So I wake up and I'm practically looking through my Bible. Y me levanté y estaba buscando en la Biblia. And I, and I, I pray. And I, and I. I ask God, I open the Bible and I'm like, Lord, speak to me, send me a sign, give me peace, show me. Abrí la palabra y le dije, Señor, háblame, enséñame un verso, dame una señal, algo. So I open the Bible to the book of, to the book of Ezekiel. Y abrí la Biblia al libro de Ezequiel. And I thought, okay. Y pensé yo, bueno. I was the last chapter. Es el último capítulo. And I thought, okay, well maybe I need to keep reading. Quizás tengo que continuar leyendo, quizás. And I read the book of, of Esther. Y leí el libro de Esther. The entire book of Esther. El libro entero de Esther. Thankfully, it's a short book. <laughs> eh, agra eh, me doy, agradezco que es un libro corto. And yes, it took, it, you know, it showed me specific principles. Me enseñó principios específicos. In starting a new church. En abrir una iglesia nueva. And about the condition of my heart. La condición de mi corazón. But it wasn't what I felt like I needed from the Lord. Pero no sentí que era lo que necesitaba del Señor. So I closed my Bible again. Cerré la palabra. And I looked up to heaven. Y miré hacia el cielo. And I say, God. Dije, Señor. I'm going to try this again. Voy a intentarlo una vez más. Speak to me. Háblame. So I opened the Bible to Psalm 61. Abrí la palabra Salmo 61. And the first line says. Y la primera línea de verso dice. Hear my cry, O God. 
attend unto my prayers. Oye, oh Dios, mi clamo y a mi oración atiende. I've been praying for five days now. He estado orando por cinco días. Daniel, was going to preach his first service Daniel iba a predicar el primer servicio en la iglesia mañana, and el I próximo can, día. And I can honestly say y, y honestamente le puedo decir fear, que todo lo que yo sentí era temor, anxiety, ansiedad, doubts, dudas, questioning the trade -off. preguntando hermanos y midiendo el, el precio. And, and y pensando por qué Dios nos llamaría a nosotros. Y este tiempo, <laughs> hermanos, era el Señor interrumpió cuatro años antes de cumplir yo mi plan. So that first line in the Psalms Ese primer eh, verso del Salmo gave me, hope that I was on the right me dio esperanza de que estaba en, el, en la dirección apropiada. I was like God was not me. Que sentí como que Dios no me escuchaba. It spoke to my situation. Habló a mi situación. My heart was overwhelmed. Mi corazón fue sobrellevado. And it was reminding me. Y me recordó. To search for the rock that was higher than me. De buscar por la roca que era más alta que yo. To seek his shelter. De buscar, hermanos, un lugar de refugio. That he indeed would be my strong tower again. Que él mismo sería mi torre fuerte de nuevo. And it reminded me of my vow. Y me recordó de mi voto hacia él. That I had made on an altar so many years before. Que hice hace muchos años en un altar. Where I had said, eme aquí. When I said, here am I. Which means, here am I, Lord, and let your will be done in my life. Que se haga tu voluntad en mi vida. Last, the last verse of the psalm says, So I sing praises unto the name forever, and I may daily perform my vows. La última verso dice que haré tu voluntad y haré mi voluntad y alabaré tu nombre. Okay. Oh, what a powerful psalm I thought. Qué salmo poderoso pensé. I was pumped. I felt God. Estaba tan eh, emocionada y yo sentía a Dios. So I thought, let me read one more. <laughs> y dije, déjame leer un, uno más. So I go to chapter 62. Voy al capítulo 62. And on verse 2. Y verso 2. It says, He is my rock and my salvation. Él es mi roca y mi salvación. He is my defense. Es mi refugio. And I shall not be greatly moved. Y no resbalaré mucho. And I thought, Oh wait, are you telling me not to move? <laughs> el Señor dije, el Señor me está diciendo que no me mude siempre. So I keep on reading. Y continué leyendo. And now I'm on verse 6. Y ahora estoy en verso 6. And it says, he only is my rock. Él solamente es mi roca. And my salvation. Y mi salvación. He is my defense. Él es mi refugio. I shall not be moved. <laughs> y no resbalaré. <laughs> so I get up and like, Daniel, I heard from the Lord. <laughs> Yo me levanté y dije, Daniel, escuché de Dios. We shall not be moved. <laughs> No nos vamos a mudar, no nos vamos a resbalar para acá. So in that moment, en ese momento, my phone rang, mi teléfono sonó. And my baby brother, who is not such a baby anymore, y mi hermanito pequeño que no es tan pequeñito ya, calls me, me llama. And so I share with him what I just experienced. Y comparto con él lo que había experienciado. And we laugh the way we just laughed right now. Y nos reímos como nos reímos ahorita. And he says, y él me dice, Evelyn, Evelyn, are your life. Toda tu vida. You have served the Lord. Ha servido a Dios. What a privilege it is. Qué privilegio es. To be called by him. De que ser llamada por él. To further his kingdom. Para adelantar su reino. He said I would keep on reading if I was you. Él me dijo yo <laughs> continuara leyendo si fuera tú. I don't. He's like I don't think that you're reading that in the right context. Él me dijo no estás leyendo en el contexto correcto. Even if I really don't want you to leave. Aunque yo no quiero que te vayas. So we hang up the phone. Colgamos el teléfono. And I go to the next verse. Y voy al próximo verso. It says, Surely men of low degree are vanity. And men of high degree are a lie. To be laid in the balance, they are altogether lighter than vanity. When I am... What verse is that? What's the last one? The last one, let's see this. Um, so I thought when I'm laid in the balance, I don't want to be lighter than vanity. And I want his mercy to be with us. And the chapter ends with, Also unto thee, O Lord, belong his mercy, mercy, for thou renderest to every man according to his work. Salmo 62, 9. Por cierto, vanidad son los hijos de los hombres. Mentira los hijos del varón. Pensándolos a los, 
a todos igualmente, en la, pesándolos a todos igualmente en la balanza, serán menos que nada. Y termina el, el capítulo diciendo, y tuya, oh Señor, es la misericordia, porque tú pagas a cada uno conforme a su obra. So moment, en ese momento, I knew God supe que Dios us to trade nos estaba llamando de cambiar nuestras posesiones terrenales for por los tesoros celestiales. The word says, la palabra dice given, a, que, a quien mucho se le es dado, required, mucho se le es requerido. And I y he realizado like so que solo se siente como que el Señor está pidiendo mucho de uno. So porque el Señor ha dado mucho. En verdad Dios ha sido fiel y bondadoso con nosotros. Family, Nos ha dado una gran familia. Church, una gran iglesia. Career, una gran carrera. Business, business tuvimos we un on. gran negocio que abrimos. And now, as we are being transplanted to a new location, y ahora mientras que somos trasplantados en un local nuevo I know none of that will change. yo sé que nada de eso cambiará And as a matter of fact, y por supuesto those things have only prepared us for this esas moment. cosas nos han preparado para esto now, I shared all this about my family. He, comp he compartido eso todo de mi familia Because I pray that someone here today porque oro que alguien aquí hoy gets a burden for them too. reciba una carga por usted mismo And you continue helping me pray for them. Y que continúen orando por ellos. Because this shall not be the first or the last. Esto no será lo, la primera ni la última. And I see all of you guys here. Le amo a todos ustedes Amen. aquí. Amen. Can I keep going? <laughs> Would you just Pray with me a moment. Vamos a orar un momento, por favor. Let the Spirit que el that has bautice. addressed us through this couple que el let nos it touch our hearts. Por medio let de that este, burden that she talked about sweep pareja, across this esa carga room. Que ella habló, that we would care. Se vacíe en este lugar. Yes, Lord, that we would we would love que and nos pray and have a burden. De tener una carga. Let it start with Evelyn's family, but all around our community. Todas nuestras comunidades, hermanos. Una carga, burden. una carga, una carga. Una carga. In Jesus name. En el nombre de Jesús. Atando boko bo yetara bai. Behold, I send a great fire upon this nation. And out of that fire is going to be testing. And the crutches that we have used, and that you all have used, will not be available. But I will be available. I will be your people. I will provide for you. 
I will strengthen you, and you will be salt in a way that you have never imagined to be salt in this land. You who thought you could not be used by God, by me, saith the Lord, I am going to use you mightily. I will satisfy your thirst when everyone else is thirsty. You will be satisfied. I will satisfy your hunger when everyone else around you is hungry. And you will show them me, and I will satisfy them. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. And those that you thought you could trust in, I may use elsewhere, as in with my daughter and my son here. But I am available to you. I am available to you. I do not care about your sins. I died for those sins, saith the Lord. I am available to you right now. Right now. we all stand together <laughs> we're going to pray over Dan and Evelyn matter of fact I, I know I need you all to sit back down they're going to wash your feet now yes, let me pray. yes 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 stretch your hands out if you would and pray pray for them right now that the calling Pray for the anointing of the calling will come upon them as we minister to them. I, the family, if you feel like you want to come close here, you can. Yes. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, according to your word, Lord, they would anoint and lay hands upon them. They would charge them, challenge them, and send them forth. It was the early church example. And Lord, now, now we, living hope, that's right, body, we represent you. But we ask you to join with us in prayer, a prayer of commissioning. Yes, a prayer of anointing in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Yes, yes, yes. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Jesus, a special anointing to rest upon Dan and Evelyn right now as the family and the body stretches out their hands to pray. Let the holy anointing of God rest upon them. Let them today in the spirit be prepared for every challenge, every trial, that they will be there to make up. That they will be there to minister to the hurting. Yes, Lord, the broken. That they will be there to minister, not only in word, but in deed. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Lord, we say to this man of God, Lord, so many times we have prophetically referred to him as pastor. But I believe that from heaven right now, there is a word from God. And God is saying, Dan, I make you the pastor of Parma, Ohio. The anointing, the calling, the courage, the strength. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. 
In the name of Jesus, 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 Jesus, Jesus. That's it, Living Hope. If you would, just continue to stretch your hands to them and allow that anointing of God that flows through his body the body, the body of Christ, ministering to the need in the body. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Lord, this is what we live for. Like Evelyn said, there's no place like living in your will. Let it be, Lord, let it be the peace of God that passes all understanding in the name of Jesus 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 And he said to me, after reading their resumes and having met them at the district board, he said to me, how in the world do you let people like that go? I had to honestly say, that wasn't my choice. I'm going to tell you something about life. Life is constantly changing. You don't get a hold on to 40. That would be young to me. But you don't get a hold. You have to move forward. It's life. It's constantly changing. We have a new generation. We have these, this hyphen group. And I know some of you are like, I don't want them to take over. Well, they need to take over. They need the anointing that we prayed over this couple. We have young people here that need that anointing on them because we got a generation out there of unchurched people. That's it, Marvin. We, they, we need that anointing to rest on you. You're no stranger to this. You just didn't realize you were going to get to be 30. But it just happens. And Poppy, who would have thought us here and this would happen? If we would have given our directions, it wouldn't be here. You know what I mean. But it is because God had 16 years that man waited. That's when we met you. 16 years ago, God had Jim. God had Jim in mind when we met in that room. Oh, if you could only open our eyes and understand what a magnificent God we serve. His ways are higher than our ways and His thoughts are higher than our thoughts and His plans are so marvelous. We have a little plaque for you. And uh, I'll let you... You can read it too. It says, Thank you, Abitangelo family, for 15 years of faithful service to Living Hope DC. because they have stepped up to the call like we have. I told Daniel, I said, Daniel, if the girls resist, I can't do it because I want to make sure we do it together. 
and they have been so excited from day one. We were at district conference and I saw Lizzie interceding for the pastors that were being commissioned, praying, and I thought, if it's just for my kids, then it's even just that is worth it. So thank you girls for, for being supportive. And, and I want to say one more thing. There's a couple here today, Hermana Estela y Hermano Mauricio, and I don't think they even know this. And it wasn't planned. My parents had invited them a couple weeks ago, so they didn't even know that today was my last service. But that star, story that I talk about, that girl who invited me to church, those are their parents. And I don't think, I don't think they even know the story that Phoebe invited me to church and that I saw the example of their family. And that's what pursued me to want to continue. So I thank you. You see, women, if you guys can come up front. Yo creo que sería tan lindo que vinieran porque yo siempre he dado mi testimonio como Fede me invitó a la iglesia y como yo mire el ejemplo de ustedes dos y oraba que el mismo sucediera en mi familia y sin saber Dios los ha traído a ustedes aquí hoy día. Now, I know you sent us a whiteboard, right? They, they, by the way, their paperwork, all the paperwork for the new church, um, and the name of their church in Parma is Living Hope Parma. See? So they sent us a copy of their logo. So Jody was so thoughtful. And engraved that, yes, it says living hope. You can get a picture of that, okay? Do you want? I'm going to ask you to join with my wife and I, and what a great story. Help me. Can they, <laughs> that it was your daughter who invited him. Very appropriate that you're here today. We, we certainly would have you join us as we pray a commissioning prayer over the family, Dan and Evelyn, the family. So we're going to pray. I ask you, Living Hope, just one more time. Yes, yes. Vamos a orar una vez más, Living Hope. Yeah, yes. Um, and I realize this is a different service for us. Y me doy cuenta que este es un servicio diferente para nosotros. trust me, it's very apostolic. Pero créame que es muy apostolico. We are sending them forth. Estamos mandándoles hacia adelante. In Jesus' name. En el nombre de Jesús. Amen. Amen. Together, living hope. Yes, puppy. Where's Marvin? Come on, Marvin. Fanny, you want to come and pray? Mommy? Oh. It's good. Yes, good, 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 good. Help us pray. Lord, in the name of Jesus. What an honor, what a privilege it is to labor in your kingdom. We pray, we commission Dan and Evelyn Abitangelo, Olivia and Lizzie to go forth in the name of Jesus, empowered by the Spirit of God. Oh Lord, give them many souls in the harvest of Parma, Ohio. 
today, even now, send forth angels into that community in the name of Jesus to make a difference in families, in people's lives. People, Lord, to be healed. People to be delivered. Bless Livy, O oh God. Let the same calling rest upon Livy and Lizzie. Anoint them, Jesus, to do your will. In Jesus' name. 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 And this family will just come together here. We're going to let them get some pictures of, of the family. All right. So go right ahead. Yes. Yeah. Lex, you want to get in the picture? Yes. Erica. Yeah. Come on. Picture time. Pamela, you coming? Maybe not. I said, sing it.
Pastor Dan and Sister Pastor Evelyn <laughs> to come to come right here because I know and the girls yes because I know the people will all want to greet you and so if you'll just make a line and come Pastor Garza so glad you're here please come Sister Rita yes yes Brother Mark Sister Irma yes so many if you'll just make the line come and greet them so many of you have been very connected with them in the ministry. Please take time to come and greet them. In the morning and the evening, and you're coming and you're going. 